Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the Search Engine Pen from Jeff Price. Uh, what is it? Uh, basically, it's a hot rod. Uh, it's a new take, it's a new look at the old uh, hot rod. You probably got one when you were just starting out in Magic and then you kind of like discarded it because it looked too much like a Magic prop. Uh, Jeff Price has kind of addressed that issue and turned it into a pen, a big pen. And so if you want to see what it looks like, this is it. So here at the Magic Shop, we sell a ton of different types of hot rods, but the problem is that they all look like this, a magic rod. The search engine pen is the first one that looks totally organic. In performance, the spectator thinks of one of the colors, and with a shake, the entire logo changes to that color. The set includes an additional pen that can be handed out for complete examination at the end. The search engine pen combines the world's most iconic search engine logo with the hot rod methodology to create the most natural looking hot rod ever. And it's now available at magic stores near you. All right, so that was Jeff Price. You might remember he did In Your Wallet. Uh, I reviewed that a while back. Uh, this, what I liked about it, uh, it put the hot rod back in my routine. I mean, I'm glad to have picked it up. Uh, I used to have a hot rod a long time ago when I was a, a wee magician and I kind of threw it by the wayside because it looked too much like a prop that wasn't recognizable and nobody would trust. And so uh, what this does is it kind of puts that effect uh, back in your hands with something that's more believable and a little bit more organic. All right, so a couple questions we always ask about all of our magic reviews, the first of which is, what's in the box? Uh, what's in the box? Uh, the first thing you're gonna get is you're gonna get written instructions, okay? These are written instructions. There's no video at all included. You're also gonna get your gimmicked pen, your gimmicked hot rod, and you're gonna get an examinable pen that you can hand out to a spectator after you've done a switch. All right, so is it what I thought? Uh, it's absolutely what I thought. It's a hot rod device. I've seen one before. Uh, they said it was a hot rod pen, and that's what I got. And how are the angles? Uh, the angles for the hot rod are pretty much standard. Uh, you probably know what they are if you already have one. If you know how to do the paddle move, uh, the angles are virtually unseen. Can it be inspected? Uh, the examinable one can be inspected. Uh, if you can figure out how to do an easy switch between one pen and the other, you can hand the examinable pen out at the end, and yes, it really writes. Is it well made? Uh, it's a standard Bic pen. Uh, it even says Bic right there on the cap, and so it couldn't be any more realistic looking or believable uh, than this. All right, so how much practice does it require? Uh, the only practice required is knowing the paddle move. The paddle move is given in the written instructions. However, I find written instructions uh, somewhat archaic in this form when you're trying to learn something like this. I mean, there aren't even photographs or pictures of this. And so what I would recommend is you go out and find um, some instructions on the paddle move uh, maybe on YouTube or perhaps another magician. And I think uh, once you figure that part out, you're good to go. How much setup and reset is there? There's none. Uh, what I do is I take the gimmicked pen and stick it in one front pocket, stick the examinable pen in another front pocket, and then after the effect, I take the gimmicked pen, stick it in the same pocket with the examinable pen, and then when the spectator asks to see it, I switch pens and pull the examinable one back out. They think it's the same pen and they're none the wiser. All right, so what's the positives to this? Positives to this, this is a much more organic, realistic looking hot rod. People are gonna believe this, they're gonna believe your story, uh, and I think it's a much more uh, realistic prop, and I think this is a much better prop to have. All right, so what are some of the negatives? Uh, these are just the negatives that I see uh, with this. They don't have to be the negatives that you see. The first negative is uh, when dealing with the pen itself, there's a little uh, pocket holder on the disposable pen. So when you're doing the paddle move, you're gonna notice that this little bar flips from one side to the next. And so I would suggest that when you do the paddle move, you actually remove this cap uh, before you do the change. That way it'll be consistent uh, when you show both sides of the pen. Second a negative to this, in the advertisements, they keep saying that this is the recognizable search engine logo. It is not. Uh, of course, due to copyright, there's no way uh, Jeff Price would have gotten Google's permission to do this. And so this actually says Kugel with a C. And what Jeff's suggestions are is first, you could just get a felt pen and fill in the C and make a G. Uh, I think that would be difficult since you gotta do it for all four sides of both pens and to make it look consistent in your own writing, 
it's probably not gonna work. Uh, his second suggestion would be to take your fingernail and scratch uh, the logo away to make it look worn. That's certainly a possibility, that might work if you could figure that out. Uh, the third recommendation he has, and this is what he does in the video, is when he holds the pen, he either covers the C completely or he just covers the lower part of the C like that. So you're giving the illusion that it says Google and so that's gonna be up to you. Personally, I would have rather seen them make just any logo. I mean, it could have said, you know, ink pen, <laughs> it could have said any fake company, it doesn't have to say Google. Uh, I think he chose Google because of the colors that are in the logo, for sure. But again, I always kind of get a little leery when magicians try to replicate a brand name that people recognize with something that they won't recognize, because that in and of itself also makes the object look like a magical device and not a real device. And so in trying to make it look more realistic, it still ends up looking a little fake. But like Jeff says, there's ways around it if uh, you're dedicated to it. And I think for the most part, no one will ever even catch it. All right, so is it worth your money? It's 10 bucks. 10 bucks and you get two pens, both the gimmick and the examinable. I think that's well worth your money to put the hot rod back into your magic routine. 10 bucks is nothing. I think everybody should go out and get this right now. All right, so who would like this? I think anybody that likes to stick regular, recognizable objects in their pockets so they can walk around and do, you know, walk around. Uh, people that do street magic, people that just wanna, you know, show something quick to a group of kids or a party magic or whatever like that. Anybody who's used the hot rod before and has been looking to put it back into the routine, I think would certainly like the search engine pen from Jeff Price. All right, so that is my review for the search engine pen. This was provided for us by the great people down at Murphy's Magic Supplies. And if you'd like to purchase your own, you can find it in one of your favorite Murphy's Magic Suppliers. Thanks, bye.